what's up guys welcome to the sweet indoor outdoors it's freaking hot outside that rain coming in here shortly it's just it's got the temperatures just crazy you can't even breathe outside it's so hot welcome to south florida all right i'm a little aggravated but i'm gonna do this uh if you want to know why i'm aggravated look at my last video you'll see but i'm not even gonna go there we got mystery tackle boxes i know i said i wasn't gonna do any more walmart ones but these ain't walmart so does that count i don't know you be the judge this is a two in one two boxes i'm gonna do two boxes because i'm just too aggravated to do two videos so we're gonna make this all one video for two boxes dick sporting goods Anyway, panfish trout box 166. Panfish trout box 91. If these are anything like the last panfish and trout box, I'm really excited. Let's get into number 91 first. They've been opened. You know, I wouldn't do that to you. Wow, I need some good tape on that. It was. They worry somebody gonna get that. Let's see what we got in here. Boom! Oh, yeah, I'm, it's cool already. The decal. Yeah. You get a lot of the same ones. Nothing I could do about that. <sighs> What's inside? They don't put their prices on it either. Boop! The dibble. One of these days we'll go over that. What in tarnation is this? The Whirly Bird Jig Head. It's a small jig head with dang propellers on it. I ain't never seen nothing like that. I'm gonna have to open this up and investigate so we know what we're dealing with here. Man, that's pretty dang cool. Look at that right there. And it, it, it barely even moves. Okay, it's got a little rubber choke or something there on it to where you can adjust it once you put your your jig body on there that's pretty dang cool there's three of them in the pack 132 ounce that's pretty cool all right we got the fixin rattle wasp Walleye bass crank. This might be one six ounce number four. This might be the same crankbait that was in the other one. I'm not sure. Maybe different color. All right. All right. Bobby Garland crappie bait split tail, two inch in length, slender profile. Blue ice. There you go. You know anything about crappie fishing, you know jig bodies are a must have. Must have. Okay, this is kind of strange here, but okay. It's a glow spoon that comes with glow sticks. Go figure. I don't know. Got a glow sticks there, and it's got an extra pack on the back. Okay. I don't, most people crappie fish they do a lot of nighttime fishing so okay alright we got some more jig bodies here Mismo oh, oh, what else can I say it look like they'd be pretty good this is a good color right here a lot of people down here use this color where's the hooks where's the hooks there's your hooks. Like I said, hooks or jig heads. Jig, you know, that's 
that's what you're going to get. But you got hooks. You can't complain. You can't never have too many. And if you use a beetle spin or crappie fish, stuff like that, you know you got to have jigs. You know you got to have them. So, all right. That was box 91. Not bad. Not bad. I was... It's okay. Dick Sporting Goods has two boxes for $35. So that was pretty good. They also have the Pro and the Elite. And they also have like this Mega Bass box. It's just really big. It's like 60 bucks. I didn't want to spend that much money. I didn't want to spend this money, but I did it for y'all. Oh, and uh, I won't be going back to Dick Sporting Goods. I'm done with them. They're, I'm done. Anyway. <clears throat> Box 166. Let's get in there. Oh, man. I tell you, it's hot outside today. I wouldn't lie to you. It's hot. Boom! Like that. Boom! Oh, now this one is cool. Look at that decal. A fishing ninja. Yeah, that's me right there. That's me right there. A hundred pounds ago. What's inside? Oh, now this is cool. This is cool. This is definitely for trout, but it says bass and pike. But I guarantee you can catch bluegill, crappie, anything on that bad boy. Nice little spinner bait. Dang, glare or something else. And it don't weigh a lot. Five thirty seconds ounce. Don't weigh a lot. So put that on a ultralight spinner reel. Good to go. Alrighty, we got some Euro Tackle B Vibe 2 inch scented 8 pack of plastics. Them pretty cool too. Well, I tell you, these, these tear up some fish. I fish a lot down here when I can anyway. Try to fish a lot. And you always got to have stuff like that. Oh, look at this. The Dibble. They, they got the good edition of this one. It ain't just a pamphlet. It's an actual booklet. What we got here? Okay. We got jig heads. You can't have too many hooks. I keep saying it. One sixteenth ounce. There looks to be about five in there. So there you go. Put them on them little plastics I just showed you, and you're ready to fish. All right, we got the Bondi Bugs 1.75 inch sand and color Bondi Bait Company. Twenty count. Man, these are cool too. Oh, look at that. Don't them look cool? 20 pack. Man, I can't wait to try some of this stuff out. And then we got the Eagle Claw Doomsday Spoons Assortment. They went kind of cheesy on this one, guys. Bunch of different spoons. Eagle Claw. I mean, this is the stuff that you get in a kid's pre packed tackle box. Yeah, I'm disappointed here. The rest of this stuff is pretty good, but I'm disappointed in this right here. Yeah, you still got your money's worth, I believe. It's uh, some good tackle, like I said, if you're getting into new species, or if you're just getting into fishing, you know, whatever. This is this is a, definitely a good investment. You can go to Dixon's Sporting Goods if you want to. I won't be going back. Uh, I will be doing... I'll do the Walmart ones every now and then, or Academy Sports if I feel like it and I'll still be doing my uh, my monthly subscription box bass fishing uh, it'll come in like I said uh, sometime this week and then I'm gonna go ahead and change it up I'm gonna change it up to uh, pan fishing get some more of these cool more of these cool lures and stuff like that so far the pan fishing ones have uh, been pretty dang cool really really like those so uh, I uh, hope you like them, and uh, like I said, I'm going to try to do something a little different this weekend because these mystery tackle boxes, 
they're you know they're digging into my pocket and i mean that seems to be all i get to do videos of lately because of weather and you know busy schedule and stuff like that you know i had to go to jacksonville last weekend and stuff like that and life happens people i mean you ought to know this you, you you make plans the best you can but sometimes things happen weather is one thing we can't do anything about um i will be doing a cooking video this weekend whether it's tonight or tomorrow i haven't made up my mind yet but i will be doing a cooking video so look forward to that one i think you'll find it pretty scrum diddly umptious so uh hope you enjoyed the video like, subscribe, notification, thumbs up. You 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 know the you know the steps. You know the steps. So uh, remember, be safe out there. God bless you. And uh, ventures waiting, guys. It's this remote again. I'm telling you, it likes making a fool of me. See y'all later.